Texas is Dyslexia Day at the Capitol, which was uh, arranged by Representative Mike Shelton for those of us who are in the field of dyslexia to come and uh, speak to our representatives. Payne Education Center was founded by parents of children with dyslexia 30 years ago. When they founded this organization, the reason was that teachers in the Oklahoma uh, metropolitan area did not have the proper teaching techniques to teach their children with dyslexia how to read. So the mission of Payne Education Center is to train teachers to prevent reading difficulties in children and to remediate dyslexia and to serve as a resource and referral center. In the 30 years that Payne has been a nonprofit in Oklahoma City, children with dyslexia have not been served specifically in the schools with dyslexia being a specific learning, dis learning disability which is recognized in all of the federal uh, and state statutes. In the year 2012, the definition of dyslexia was accepted as a specific learning disability requiring service in the educational system, uh, but up until that time, this was, not, this was not the case. Because of that, children with dyslexia, which is a language learning deficiency, where their brain does not properly process language in order to become skilled at reading, writing, and, and uh, spelling, and uh, which basically qualifies them for special education services. Because it was not recognized until two years ago, 20% of our children in the state of Oklahoma have not received appropriate educational services in the schools in order to address this situation. Therefore, 20% of our children are, have struggled all through these years and are at risk for dropping out of school because they do not become competent readers, writers, and spellers. Currently, House Bill 2969, which is uh, being authored by Representative Lee Denny, is trying to address this, um, this legislation with the new mandate that children are screened for dyslexia in, the, in kindergarten. If they are found to have dyslexia, they must be officially diagnosed and recommended into the need for special education services possibly for the teachers in the school to teach the children with dyslexia uh, using the scientifically based multi-sensory structured language phonics instruction and for there to be a resident individual who is highly skilled in addressing the issue of dyslexia with children through the um, educational system in the classroom. Making sure kids read is just very important to the whole state and turning out uh, a, a wonderful product in our kids is very important. But we do have to realize that uh, all kids can learn, but they learn at different rates and they learn different ways. Um, I've been working here 10 years now, and a good eight years ago I had families in my in my district tell me that we weren't teaching our dyslexic kids properly, that um, it bothered them that they were in special ed because these kids are smart and bright, they just learn differently. So I'm very excited today that uh, the Payne Center is working on, uh, on making sure that we have teachers that are going to be turned out that teach these kids properly. And um, I think only when we uh, start back at ground zero and make sure the teachers know what to teach and know how to teach, and then we put those teachers in front of the kids that need those teachers, then we'll succeed at making sure our kids are able to read as they uh, cycle through grade school. I would be honored to uh, talk about 2565, which is a delay. Uh, that bill is set up because we're not ready. And unfortunately, uh, I don't believe uh, that we have put the necessary resources for these children to get caught up in, uh, in a bad situation. Uh, we have not put the money in the classroom for our children to be able to read. Uh, we have not put the resources in there. We have not uh, given our teachers the tools to recognize the ways that these children learn better to read. And uh, we have not done it. And so because we have not done our part, We've cut, we've cut uh, education by $220 million over the last several years. The Board of Equalization uh, met today, and we're, and we're looking at an, uh, $190 million additional cuts uh, for next year. Uh, 
we have got to make this a priority, and the only way to make this a priority is to, to fund it and fund it appropriately, to make sure the resources are getting to the teacher uh, to the children, and and ensuring that uh, our children are taught the best possible uh, scientific ways. Excited that these conversations are happening, but we um, as parents we cannot stand by and let our children be retained unfairly. Um, and so we want the legislators to do the work of legislating. We want to voice our children's um, dilemma in that our kids are not being served. And so if our kids are not being served with effective evidence-based intervention being retained, how will that make anything better if we don't change the reading programs that we're using? We need effective intervention in our schools.